Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and welcome to this behind the scenes for Six News. So, Six News is a brand on my main channel, but it's also its own channel by itself. Uh, the reason for this is that a lot of people were asking for a much more focused channel that was just Rainbow Six Siege news um, because for some reason some people just can't not click on videos for some reason, don't know why um, they, have to, they seem to have a real big issue so I made a channel just for Rainbow Six News um, as an experiment for sure Like I have no idea how this is going to play out in the long term so it's a total experiment to see how it goes and uh, see if it's a good idea or not and there's only one way to find out and that's to do it so this is the behind the scenes numbers so this is the creator studio that I can come into and see everything about the channel on YouTube so you can see I got uh, 3 years and 140 days of watch time 2 minutes and 16 seconds of average view duration this is actually really really bad this is why um, animation content on YouTube does really badly because they're usually quite short videos the longer the average watch time is, the more promotion YouTube will give your channel to viewers. So having a short one is terrible. So, so having a 2 minutes and 16 seconds is crap on YouTube, basically. Uh, 780,000 views, uh, a revenue of $0. Uh, we'll go over that first, I guess, because that'll probably be the biggest question. So if we've got a channel, uh, we can see here, monetization, application submitted and in review uh, if we have a look it says here that i need to reach 4000 hours of watch time and 1000 subscribers and i totally destroyed that and uh, applications are going to be reviewed in late january it is march 3rd so they let me know that it's probably going to take another three weeks <laughs> or more so it doesn't really matter because obviously the actual news for the new season's done we're you know we're, it's about to launch so there's actually nothing really to move on there it'll get monetized eventually before at least the next season comes around but yeah no money made on this channel whatsoever let's go back to this year but i'm really proud of it it actually did really well considering i just made it in january i think this channel's done surprisingly well you can see here I promoted it on the main channel a couple of times, so we got 3,400 people subscribing in one day, which was pretty amazing. And we got 2,800 subscribing in another day. So I think there was two times I promoted on the main channel. And of course, after that, I was like, I'm not going to trust YouTube to monetize the channel. So I didn't promote it again the entire time through the whole news for the season. But subscribers-wise, for a new channel, it's done really well. Like, it took me two or three years to get to 2,000 subscribers on the main channel when I made it originally. So to see this one get to 18,000 and we're just entering March, pretty damn good. I think that's great. Um, so let's break this down by each video. So I made two exclusive videos just for the six new channel that don't appear on the main channel at all. And it was Will for Vela uh, and Yacht Return in year three and what the year three ops might look like. And it was just looking at uh, reference foes for the different operators that we might get. And Scotland Yard are the coolest. So you should look at that. But these two videos did amazing. 145,000 views on the Favela and Yacht one, which is crazy. Like on the main channel, I'm lucky if my videos get to 50,000 views. Uh, a few get to 100,000. So this getting to 140. 5,000 on a brand new channel. Really happy with that. And the year three ops, what they might look like, made it to 100,000. And then after that, uh, we're pretty much talking, you know, under 10,000 basically for each video. And you can see here, um, the watch time is the thing that YouTube's interested in. You see, it doesn't have it by views. There is actually one video that's over 10,000, which is the Ash Elite. But if you go by watch time, it doesn't even show up in this top. This is why YouTube loves watch time. So we can see that the Favela and Yacht one did really good, which is awesome. Those two exclusive videos just for this channel, just to help it grow, did really, really well. And you can see 49% of my uh, viewership is from the United States, 12% from the United Kingdom, five from Canada, four from Germany, and four from Australia. 98% male and 2.2% female. 
and you can see most people are finding my stuff on the browse feature only eight percent on suggested uh six percent on channel pages and other 12 and play locations uh youtube watch page <laughs> youtube watch page 100 percent wow so embedded or external 0 0.1 and youtube or other 0 0.1 and browse features zero wow that's quite crazy yeah so that's kind of just a, a simple behind the scenes now that this uh, now that the news for this season is pretty much wrapping up uh, so it gives you a little idea and I'll see what happens because obviously when the channel gets monetized and the new season comes around with the new news I'll promote it on the main channel again and we'll see what kind of spikes we get again but like I'm really happy I am quite amazed at how well it went and it hasn't like eaten into the main channel or anything like that it, the main channel is growing faster than it ever has so for the moment it's not it's definitely not going to overpower the main channel for sure but it'll be interesting to see how this channel gets on when it grows and if it turns into anything or if I'm just going to end up deleting it someday because it'll become too much work. Because I do have to upload, I do have to render out two different videos. Like, um, let's see, yeah, Bustin, Lion and Finger, right? This is a good example. So I need to render out two different videos, one for the main channel and one for the Six News channel because you can't actually upload duplicate content. You need to make them different in some way. So I have to render out two different videos and then I have to upload two different videos in order to get it all onto the two different channels. So it is a bit of a pain in the ass. So it is possible that if the channel just doesn't do well in the long term, I'll get rid of it. Uh, but right now it looks like it's actually gonna do really well. And big thanks here to my Patreon supporters for helping me out because obviously Patreon right now is much more reliable than YouTube, which is handy. Even though it's not much money, it bloody helps in the long term for sure. Anyway, guys, that is a little behind the scenes. If you want to check more behind the scenes stuff, I have done behind the scenes videos on the main channel where I actually show like a whole year's income for the Core Rush channel. So you can check that out if you want to. Want to. But anyway, guys, that is just a little behind the scenes and I'll catch you guys next time.